researcher at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening, and if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say... Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. <sighs> How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. Did you get my tea? Oof. Mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty, minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How was the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go and... No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. England, our new home. Not a patch on Norway, but we'll make this land our own soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all. And will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. 
We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory. The Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randy, dig in your oars! All standing! Have you spotted something? Not yet. Well, let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood! May Thor bless you all on your way! We will see you soon! Sail on! Yes! I'm ready for whatever these green-thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us! Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do not, but they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No! No! We will speak with them, get the lay of the land, and carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there! Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them. <laughs> like our sacrifices to Odin, the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. That is the difference. Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a they do it! Ritual drowning. Baptism, Dad. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always! They shape precious metals and cut jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there! Later, Dak. There will be time enough for raiding, once we have settled. Come to you. Stop the boats! Sit. Pull up over there! The way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it. Somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dad. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. Be careful now. the folks. Have a look. Hey! God, what is it now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
This chain is huge, and poorly anchored, it appears. I might be able to shoot it. Clear. Sigurd, give those... Those are not Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, as they stop the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a yard. And if they are foes, then we fight them all, together. these men they speak with twisted accents english no doubt dark avon on me <laughs> oh what's this a mess of filthy danes befouling our riverways you there Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten those men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakarout. And draw your weapon! Oh! Let's finish them! Kill these evil bastards! You have no a chance to turn away! And it passes by! Right. I will check the longhouse. Foul food for foul fighters. 
fight this. Oh. You there! Untie us! Let us walk and we will not hurt you! Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did, till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest speeder. But I read their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the Sons of Ragna, at Halstan Jarl's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the Sons of Ragnar? Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Rebuild my stocks? Start anew? I have friends and allies across the land to aid me. But it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable. To keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again. Somewhere. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Dag? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg, son of Stilbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. From strangers into friends into family. The others have arrived. Come. I have a good feeling about this place. Honored family, friends, welcome to your new home. Fine work. A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come. Randvi has found something I would like you to see. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the Sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe, the village of Ravens. I like it. The 
poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build. Expand. Agreed. We should begin with a porch. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived, and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dear. And what else have you found? Short notes here. Not a bad place, Eivor. Not at all. Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking then? Good, good. How I miss those days. Ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you're the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the oar of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I've found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes, bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you. And put it to better use than they did. Stretch your wings soon. Last known location of the Summer Army. <laughs> what do you see, Sunan? Hail! What has happened here? Who is asking? Eivor, of the Raven Clan. Did you and your men fail to take the village? No. No, we had it for a time. It was nothing but a cluster of waterland daub huts when we came. We made it lively. Grundbridge was a thriving hub of trade and song under the care of Soma Ayalskona. But the Saxons took it back. They appeared within the city as if rising from the shadows and drove us out. That's terrible. How were you ambushed? It was like they burst out of the center of the city itself, setting aflame everything in their path, shouting some nonsense about an ancient order of warriors. By the time I saw the fires, too many of us were killed or captured. Our Yalsko Masuma, she bellowed the retreat and we took refuge in the ruins. But in the chaos, we were separated. She and the bulk of our forces fled northeast into the swamps. I'd follow if we were fit to. We need her iron fist. I can find Soma. Be ready when we return. She'll be deep in the fog of the Fenlands by now. Find her longship. That's your best bet. Areas of limits. God won't let us lose. Soma cannot be far. I should have a look around. Slaughter the luck. 
couple too. Slaughtered them like cattle too. Shame we have to take prisoners at all. They'll live just long enough to serve. They bring Christ's mercy! <coughs> Come on, you bastards! Come on, you bastards! Warm food! Soon in. Take him to the shelter for warmth. Stab some moss in that gash. Wrap it well. Egil. Egil, look at me. Remember De Boer as you fell, our first day in England. Hold his arms. Nine. Large. And fat. Fed us for a week. Yeah. Yeah? You'll be chasing more in a month, my friend. You come like a Valkyrie out of the fog. We have no dead to give you. 
You must be Soma. Let's talk elsewhere. Give them a chance to rest. Quite a hit you took. How many were lost? It's kind of you to ask, but with so much blood in the water and death on the air, I'd know your name and purpose first. Eivor of the Raven Clan. I came for you looking for a friend, an ally. I see. I'm Soma, Lord of Grandbridge. Though it seems an Order of Lunatics wishes to strip me of that title. The Order of the Ancients. Sounds right. The Saxon called Wigmund is one of them. He robbed me of my city, forced us into these swamps. I've rallied some of my soldiers, but my three advisors are missing. If we hope to retake Grantbridge, I'll need them at my side. Tell me about them. They are my best, my inner circle. Bina, Galin, Leif. We may as well be of the same blood. If I can reunite them, and we retake your city, can I call you a friend and ally? If you can do all that, you can call me whatever you want. Let's find your advisors. Agreed. We'll look for signs of their longboats along the river. And if we are swift, we will find them before the wolves do. The fog is more hindrance than hiding place now. Let's light the way back. <laughs> 